In the last task, you learned how to convert raster data to the vector data model. It can also be very useful to have data represented in the raster data model. As you've seen, rasters are very useful for analysis. In the last lab, you saw how rasters can be combined via the raster calculator. You can convert points, lines, and polygons to the raster format. However, one must be cognizant of the effects of cell size. The data will be generalized when the conversion from precise vector locations to cells occurs. In this task, I'll convert a vector layer to raster. So here I have QGIS desktop open, and I've got the Nuesis Roads layer here. And I'm going to demonstrate how to convert the Nuesis Roads to a raster data set. So I'm going to go to the raster menu, to conversion, to rasterize. My input file is going to be Nuesis Roads, and I'll leave TLID as the attribute field. And note, this attribute field for rasterizing can be any numeric attribute. Often it'll be a field that is assigned some sort of weight to the output raster cells. Here I'll simply use the ID column. Next I'm going to select the output raster file and I'm going to save this as roadsraster.tiff. Click Save. If you get this message the output doesn't exist you must set up the output size or resolution to create it. That's okay. Here we'll take the remaining defaults, but you can set the raster size in pixels or the rest raster cell resolution if you desire. And I'll click OK. Processing is complete. I'll click Close. So this is a pretty straightforward procedure. I'll zoom in so we can see the rasterized roads a little more clearly. So you can see each road has been assigned raster pixels in the output. So you do get a stair-step jagged approach. You can change the output resolution to smooth the output. You would just get a larger output file size because you have a smaller cell size in that case. In this lab, you learned how to use the heat map plugin to generate point density rasters based off of both point densities and attribute values. In this case, we used population. Density analyses are often used to analyze data related to crimes or the amount of fast food stores in an area. The output provides a nice overview of how close the points are, and you can choose your own variables to weight the output. Finally, using the conversion tools, we can convert between raster and vector. Having data in raster form allows you to perform raster algebra operations with the raster calculator. Having data in vector form allows for precise positioning, for geometries to be easily calculated, such as acreage and distances, and for more sophisticated cartographic options since you can control both the border and the fill.